Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Ronnie. And if you're new, what's good? And in today's video, I'm gonna be removing my lace front wig. It's the first time I ever did this, like ever. So don't judge me. The lighting is terrible in this bathroom. So yeah, I just don't wanna do that. And we're gonna have like a little chit chat. Let me back up so y'all can see me, but look at this vibe. Oh, wow. Yes. Your girl been in the gym, period. No, let me stop lying. I just been eating right, you know, walking around the neighborhood and whatnot. But anyway, since that last part got messed up because I was fondling with the camera, I basically am gonna be removing my lace front wig and this is gonna be like oh my camera smudged what the heck what the heck camera smudged that's chance hey chancy but yeah i'm gonna be also telling y'all a little story time i got so many story times y'all like i moved from house to house i live with my real dad and he kicked me out i live with my aunt she kicked me out I live with my mom's sister, and these are all people on my dad's side. And it wasn't even me, I promise you. Like, these people are weird. Like, I don't even understand what be going on, but yeah. But basically, no. Let's get into the fact that I'm, I'm tired of seeing, I'm tired of seeing young entrepreneurs being set up. Like, I think that is so corny. I really do. Uh, I also feel like, wait, let's look at this first. Look at it, y'all. It still looks pretty decent, even though I want to take it off. Let's see if it'll lift or anything. No. So I'm gonna have to get the alcohol. But anyway, I just feel like it's so corny to set somebody up just to beat them up over something that happened years ago like who's really holding on to the past like that like y'all need to learn how to move on because holding on to things won't get you nowhere when you hold on and ponder on the past it's only affecting you and your personal life just a fun fact okay so i'm gonna be right back i'm about to get the alcohol okay so, mind you, like I said, this is my first time taking a wig out, and I've never actually, like, done this before, so hopefully I do this right, and I don't F up my freaking head and pull out all my edges, but I got the alcohol. But anyway, like I was saying, I just think it's so corny to set up people. Like, honestly, I don't even think, like, it'd be a setup. I just feel like you know these b words or females they just be hating like super hard and it's just very unfortunate that stuff like that happens to people because i'm very compassionate i know hard to believe i'm very compassionate believe it or not and i actually do care about like people and things happen to them and I just think it's so sad I wish I could help the world <laughs> I wish I could help everybody because I don't think people deserve that and that's what really see the real tea is that's what really makes people not want to work with black people like us as African Americans like that's what makes people not want to work with us because who does that like who really like books an appointment with somebody just to jump them like i just need a couple minutes to figure the process that because i don't understand like you couldn't have just like did it another way like and you really couldn't have got them one-on-one -on -one. and if they jumped you that's just one of the many people and then for it to happen years ago, are you even really sure it was that person? Like, imagine that jumping somebody and then not even being sure if that's the right person. You're going to jail, okay? You're going to jail. And was it worth it? You're sitting in jail 
over somebody that did something to you years ago. Like, who ponders on the past like that? Like, that shit is so crazy to me. It's so crazy to me. Look, there's a lot of glue right here on this part. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's coming up a little bit, so that's good. It's coming up a little bit, so that's good, y'all. That's good. Who wants to see me install a wig on my own? Like, that would be hilarious because I don't know how to do that either. And how we're gonna do it, we're gonna watch a YouTube video because YouTube is literally like the DIY website. Like, it has everything in them how to do anything. But yeah, that was bothering me. And yesterday was the 4th of July. And did we really celebrate the 4th of July? No. <laughs> no. I was making a lot of posts so people could be aware. Check your privilege when you celebrate the 4th of July because guess what? <laughs> we weren't free, baby. We weren't free. So we're celebrating an independence day that wasn't really our independence day very passionate about that i just feel like us as black people african americans we go through so much we're literally set up to be blackballed like literally set up to be blackballed we got to work 10 times harder because we're this system is built against us so we literally got to work 10 20 times harder than anybody else just to be seen and when you're exceptional when you're astronomical that's when you can be heard so i mean it sucks it really does suck because i'm kind of in the middle like i'm not no light skin i ain't no dark skin you know i'm brown skin but i really don't see like the you know how they try to like split us up based off the of skin tone I'm black period I might not be the darkest black person I may not be the lightest black person but you know I'm brown I love my race I love my people my daughter's black like come on I gotta make sure this world is gonna be good to her or I'm gonna have to like obviously go after these people you know as the mom I am but I just felt like the 4th of July for me wasn't really about what its actual meaning was. Oh my bad. But I just feel like for me, the 4th of July wasn't like, it wasn't about the actual meaning behind it. For me, the 4th was kind of like just a reminder, like celebrate being black and beautiful. Celebrate being you. Celebrate being whatever type of person that you are. Like celebrate life. Celebrate being alive like you know the world has been crazy the coronavirus corona covid you know she here and you know she done made her imprint she talking about she not going nowhere she talking about she's staying you know i already told her like look if you pull up to my crib we gonna fight period we boxing because <laughs> i got a baby I got a baby girl she's only one i can't have her trying to like come up in here and run sh and she don't run nothing you feel me like <laughs> i can't have corona trying to mess some ish up okay y'all am i doing this too long like why am i still rubbing alcohol on my hairline like this is taking so long y'all like is this really how you supposed to do it let me know in the comments y'all let me know because I ain't never did this before and I was gonna hit up Shorty who did my hair, but she was booked. <laughs> she was booked. Oh my god. I thought she would be booked because she really is that fire. But it's time to take this off. I had it on for two weeks. Two weeks is too long, so it needs to come out, okay? Oh my gosh. But yeah, what are my plans? with this youtube well honestly i just want to get as big as i can i really want to grow my goal is to get that plaque 100k 
I really want to do that. I want to be able to make a better life for my daughter. I want to be able to show her that no matter what path in life you choose, you can be successful. Like, no matter what. And that's just the message I want to portray to her. Like, I was in the Navy. It didn't work out. But honestly, the Navy wasn't for me, personally. Like, at the time, I did it. And I explained this. I did it because I wasn't doing anything else. And I just needed something as a step, like, to help me. It was a step school. And it did. I got a lot of great things out of it. My daughter came out of it. So, you know, there was a lot of positives that came out of this going into the Navy. And honestly, I'm just working right now. Like, I honestly can't even stop. I just can't stop. Like, I'm trying to be more consistent. But like I said, I was moving from state to state. I should have vlogged that because I would have been great great footage and I would have loved it but I didn't sorry but anyway yeah I just want to be more personable with y'all you know my story times I have a bunch of story times it's just about remembering them because I have a habit of pushing things in my past keeping it in my past I don't like bringing up old ish you feel me once it's done it's done and I just leave it at that once it's done it's done we're not going back. The past is in the past for a reason. Let me be right back. I need to get my step stool because this standing and crouching over so y'all can see me is not cutting it. And my camera smudged. It's kind of bothering me. So, give me a second. Oh, it does work. <laughs> now I look like I'm like four feet tall. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So I'm literally gonna edit all of that out <laughs> because y'all are just not gonna see it. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Ooh, this thing is on, bro. Like, this shit is on. This shit is on. Look at it. Ooh. This is, look. I don't know what I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking get my hair off. But yes, the place was on. Okay, she was not coming off, period. I give this a 10 out of motherfucking 10. Okay. But yeah, you know, I'm just trying to figure out what exactly the content I want to make. I want to be more personal with y'all, more real, more raw. I mean, I don't really wear makeup in most of my videos anyway. So I feel like that's pretty personal and pretty raw, but just to see like my personality and to see how just I am, you feel me? That's the real goal. We're almost done with this side. Yes, thank you God. Sometimes I lose my train of thought. Like when I be talking about things and I just get quiet, I lose my train of thought. That's what that means, I lost my train of thought. But I was thinking, and I really want to get a um, a, a freaking manager. I know it's like, okay, getting a manager, what do you have to offer? Honestly, I think, not even I think, I know I'm gonna be big, okay? I'm gonna be somebody. So it's like, you know, help me, build me to, we can help each other. So I'll do what my manager tells me to do to build myself to my full potential because I know I have potential and I know I can be somebody that's marketable, someone you can brand, someone you can make money off. Okay, I'm back. Camera died. That was terrible, but what I was saying is basically I feel like if I had a manager, it would just help me, just help push myself and just really reach the full potential that I know that I can. But like I just really need somebody who believes in me as much as I believe in myself. And then when we go up, because we will go up, watch, like, and we can all eat together and just be rainbow sunshine, happy, and it'll all work out, you know? So I don't know how to go about doing that process. So if any of y'all have any suggestions about management, link below. Let me know, comment, you know, because I only know what y'all got me. I mean, I can do research, but let me just 
seeing if anybody knows anything that I don't, you feel me? Because we can all learn from somebody, whether they're younger or older. We are all strangers. So I really think I almost got it all. Yes, I almost got her off. I'm excited. So I don't know what the alcohol does. I think it probably dissolves the glue that they use. I'm guessing. Oh yeah, probably so. That's what I'm assuming. It's literally like paste, almost. It's disgusting. But yeah, I'm working on that. Honestly, I think I can get my subscribers to a really good point, you know? Oh, look at this, y'all. Oh, oh my goodness. This is crazy, like, on this part. It's actually kind of like on my hair a little bit. So I gotta kind of like, you know, be careful not to pull my freaking hair out. Cause I be doing that like all the time and not really be knowing the proper way to remove these things. But this is what they be doing. So I assume this is the right way. Like I be assuming this is the right way. Hey, hey. Ah, ah. There you go. I'll be assuming this is the right way. But honestly, to all my new subscribers and my returning subscribers, I'm very thankful for y'all. Like, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I wouldn't have 400 subscribers if it wasn't for y'all. So I'm thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a literally a blessing, you know. And I'm very grateful for all the support, all the love, the positive comments. Like, y'all are amazing. Especially when I was like growing up being bullied, you know, and not having a lot of friends. It's kind of nice to have people to talk to and go to and express yourself without being judged like harshly. You know, I don't really get a lot of negative comments for real. You know, cause I'm not at that point yet where I will, because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who is just waiting on it. Maybe not, but you know, I just feel like nothing's worth my peace. Nothing's worth my time. And nobody has that much power over me. If I see a negative comment, I'll probably ignore it. Nine times out of 10, I will ignore it. Like there's really nothing nobody can say to get me out of character because I've already been through all of those things in my life. I've already been bullied. I've already been public enemy number one. I've already had people wanting to jump me and fight me over like little stuff. But I use those things in my life as just learning moments, just eye openers you know things that really show me who's here for me and who who's really like down for the kid and who isn't you know i think she sewed this way on me honestly i'm not sure because i don't think i can just pull this bitch off i really don't think i can just pull this bitch off like you should be able to just pull this bitch off but honestly i'm not sure and this is like my weak side right here. This this side is my weak side of my hair, bro. I promise you, it's so weak. This side of my hair. See, look at this. Ah! Oh my God. Yes, y'all, I got a big forehead. Heads up, I got a huge forehead. See, like, you see this? It makes it look a little smaller. But without it, my, my forehead is big, y'all. Big. But, okay, yeah, I'm almost done with this. I'm so excited. What am I gonna do today? What am I gonna record today? I don't know what I'm gonna record you guys. Like, 
I have a bunch of story times. If y'all want more story times, let me know. Like those story time videos. Comment you want more. And I'll give it to y'all. I'll give y'all whatever y'all want. But y'all just gotta let me know what it is that y'all want. You know? Oof. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to have this thing off my head. It was itching like so bad, y'all. It was freaking itching. But for real, real talk, like if y'all really want me to apply this other wig, I'm gonna apply it. Like I'm gonna try, keyword try, cause I've never in life like, look at it. See, this is my wig club. You see how it's kind of a little light right there? That's because like my hair isn't that strong on that side. On this side, it's pretty straight, like pretty good. See that? Look at this. And gee, is that the stocking cap, bro? Yeah, that's the fucking stocking cap. But I'm gonna take the stocking cap off like this first. Yeah! Y'all do not know how good I feel to have this thing off my head. Oh my god. I just gotta cut it along like the little like string part, but. <sighs> I'm so happy to have this lace front off. Like, honestly, truly, I um I miss my real hair. Um, but I am gonna miss being Little Red because Little Red was my fave. Like, Little Red was one of my favorites, favorite colors, like ever. I never had red hair before. It was really cool to see. It was beautiful. She lasted. She didn't lift. She didn't give me no problems. Like this, this, this wig, 10 out of 10. I'm telling y'all, Ivory Helm hit her up. But yeah, I'm kind of dragging this video, but pretty much y'all watch me remove my lace. Lace front wig is removed. And thanks for sitting here with me while I did this and having a little chit chat with your girl. And we'll be back with another video. Bye. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I know I signed off. Look at these braids. Like, they still look really crisp. I gotta get all the gunk out of the top part of my hair. But anyway, I just came back to let y'all know that there's only one you. You're beautiful, you're amazing, you're blessed. And don't let anybody break you down or make you feel like you can't do or accomplish something because you can accomplish anything that you put your mind to. Ooh, y'all hear that? My scout beach, y'all. But yes, that's gonna be it for this video and I'll be back with another one sometime soon. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'm